Hey guys, what's up? It's JP here. Tonight we'll be doing the Ko Ila 12 from the island of Isle. Um, so I already poured it. As you can see, it's sort of like a pale, uh, pale Chardonnay color, if you will. It looks almost like Chardonnay. Okay, so let's just, uh, one, two, three. Okay, remember to swirl. Swirling is very important for your glass. Okay, wow. Interesting, very interesting whiskey. You know, that's my favorite word. You got some, a little bit of smoke, a little bit of brine. You're gonna have that peat smell. There certainly is the peat smell that you would expect from the Isle of Islay, but it's not overpowering at all. Actually, there's a slight tequila scent to this whiskey. A little bit of vanilla, brine, a tiny bit of citrus, but it's a very, very nice balance. That's really interesting about this whiskey. Fantastic, even a little bit of salt comes out. Fascinating. Yeah, brine, almost like a turkey brine. Nice, but how it combines this is unique. Wow, that's really cool. <laughs> Don't really have that reaction too often, but wow, it's a, a little a little hint of citrus, but it's kind of like opening up, it's opening up. You have a little bit of smoke on the tongue, certainly some heat, but not overbearing at all. It's a very light finish, not too heavy. Mm. Okay. You know, I'm tasting a little bit more salt in the back of the tongue, a little bit of smoke, but it's just making way for, for uh, like a nice lemony flavor, uh, a little bit of treacle, a little bit of a little bit of brine, uh, just mixing all these things together. This tastes very, very uh, unique in its own way, you know, like all, all different whiskeys, but this one sort of moves and blends and, and swirls to all different sorts of scents, uh, tastes. It's fascinating. This one would certainly require quite a few sips to kind of nail it down. So definitely gonna be a subjective experience. Absolutely right now, recommend it. Let's add a little bit of water. Caught a few too many there. Swell, swell, swell. Okay, dilutes it a little bit. It brings out more of a lemon scent. A little more vanilla. Still a little bit of peat, not as much smoke. Okay, still a little bit of brine as well. Hmm. Okay, dilutes it a little bit more, definitely on the palate. It's a little bit sweeter, but I still have some smoke, a little bit of peat as well, but it's uh, very, very nice. Um, I'd say that if you if you want to add water to this to sort of tone down each of those uh, each of those sort of notes uh, mentioned before, you'd want to do that. Uh, but you still, again, I think you'll still have some citrus, just lost some vanilla. You're going to still have brine, a little bit of salt, but each of those sort of goes away a little bit more and gives more rise to that peat flavor. But even with the water, I mean, this could be a really good pairing whiskey, uh, but something something certainly to, to mull over, to malt over, if you will. Uh, excellent, excellent whiskey. Definitely going to be a good experience for you. I recommend it highly. Remember, 43 ABV, so it's average uh, in terms of alcohol content. Uh, this was between $75 and $85, where I'm from. Uh, I think it's definitely worth the price. Uh, you'll enjoy. So that is the Cole Elo 12. Thank you.